back. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about and show footage from my second Stomp It camp. If you haven't already watched the video of my first Stomp It camp, check it out. Um, the link is below. And yeah, so I did my second Stomp It camp in January of 2022. I, after my first camp, I didn't think I would ever actually do another one. Um, I just didn't think that I would have, I don't know. It wasn't even, it's not like there was anything standing in my way, but I just wasn't really open to that. Um, and as the summer, after the camp, the summer progressed and it got into fall and I started thinking, okay, when am I gonna ski this winter? Where am I gonna go? How am I gonna make that happen? Cause I was still really like charged up from the camp and wanted to keep going with my freestyle skiing. Um, I thought, well, it'll be a lot more cost effective if I just go down to the Czech Republic, um, cause that's not too far from Berlin and it's much cheaper to ski there than in Switzerland. So I started researching some resorts there that have parks and there are quite a lot. Um, and so I thought I would do that, like maybe just go a bunch of weekends because I also now was working again. So I didn't, couldn't just like go whenever I wanted. Um, it would have to be weekends. And I was excited about that idea. Um, and then, I don't know, just somewhere along the line, I was like, okay, all the effort and all the various trips I would take to go there and also to just go alone, because um, I don't really have any friends here who also do freestyle and park skiing and everyone I met at camp probably goes to Switzerland or already lives in Switzerland, so they're not gonna come up to the Czech Republic to do it. Um, and yeah, at some point I just thought, what the hell? Just go back to camp. Like, you know it's amazing. You know the coaching is incredible. You know the, the, the mountains are incredible there. You know how much you get out of that. Um, just invest in it and invest in yourself. And I made that choice and at, right after I did, it felt so good. Like, it was so the right choice for me to go back to another stomp at camp. Um, so I did, I started right around that time I actually joined a gym, so I started also training um, and working out to build my leg strength and core and um, knee stability and all that stuff, and I'll talk about that in other videos, but yeah, it um, came to January 2022, and I headed back to Lax for my second stomp at camp, and I'll show that footage now. So on the first day of camp, there was a lot of powder because it had snowed consistently the previous days, so we spent the first morning skiing this powder. This is my friend Will skiing down through it, I spent the previous day also skiing powder over at Elm with Sasha, but had a good time, but wiped out a lot because I didn't really have very good powder technique. So I was glad to get some tips and improve my technique so that I stayed up in the powder more and also had a good, better time. We went over to the glacier and hiked across to ski some untracked powder over there. These are our tracks from coming down through that. Then we went up again, and my friend Will and I went across with Lucas to a wind lip we'd seen from the lift, and Will went first to jump off of it, then ski down. I was nervous because I'd never done anything like that before, and the wind lip looked a lot bigger from the top. Speed is gonna be your friend. Okay. Are you ready, Chelsea? Yeah. Okay, send it. <laughs> that was great. That was awesome. That was so cool. Cool. Nice. And you're really fly you are flying. Nice. Thank you, Lucas. Oh, you're welcome. Look at this. Wait a second, my Afterwards I was super stoked and yeah, it's safe to say I really like powder now. We moved on to the park and started again on the box and after a few goes I started to get the hang of it again, but also wiped out. Then we moved on to jumps and I was happy to see that I could land the threes pretty consistently right from the start.
So the nice thing about this year's camp was that we were able to go to the Freestyle Academy, which we weren't last year due to the corona restrictions. I started off trying to land a front flip and eventually made it. Then we got the trampoline skis and I practiced my rotations for the 540. And I also practiced some grab. And I did a Lincoln loop and one where I bailed halfway through. We also worked a lot on switch skiing at this camp, which was good because I needed to practice that. To ski switch and all of you understand it. And we told you it's a great idea to look over both of your shoulders. Now, actually, you can also ski switch while looking only over one shoulder, okay? Now, there is a few things. The second time we went to the Freestyle Academy, I had the tramp skis again and worked on spins for getting on and off boxes and rails. Yeah! Woo! So, on like this? Yeah. And spinning out? Yeah, exactly. That way. Yeah! Yeah, that's, yeah it? that's it. That's what I was. So on the last day, I was attempting the fives again. Woo -hoo -hoo! Nice, Chelsea! That was so sweet. That was the first one you pretty much got all the way around. Was that it? I think so. That was it. That was it. I nice. That was it. First that five forty. Woo! How you so cool! Awesome, Chelsea. I was super excited and all, but something inside felt like that wasn't really any different than other ones I'd been landing earlier in the week. And when I watch it back, I can see that I land at 90 degrees short and skid around the rest of the way. So even though I wanted to believe Will and Lucas that it was it, I really wasn't quite satisfied. Anyway, I was still happy and I decided then to kind of just have fun and do playful things with my friends the rest of the day. So as the last day was winding down, I wanted to give the 540s another go, partially because I wasn't quite satisfied with that one earlier, but another part of me was like, well, if you can do them now, you can do them, so go do a few more. So I was going to do one more, and I caught up with my coach, Will, at the top of the lift and asked, told him about what I thought about the one earlier, and he said that after having watched it back on his phone, he agreed it wasn't quite there. And he gave me the tip to just keep looking around with my head instead of spotting the landing at 360 degrees, keep looking to make it to 540. So I said, okay, can you film this one? And on my in run, I just repeated to myself, keep looking around, keep looking around, keep looking around. Yes! That was fucking it. That was it. That was completely it. Yes, Chelsea. Yes. That one felt so different from the one earlier that day and also from all the others. Like, when you watch the video back, it's not that many more degrees around, but enough. Like, it's definitely, yes, it's not exactly 540. I come down about maybe 45 degrees before, but I'll take that. And it felt so different. It really felt like landing backwards and not kind of landing sideways. And I just remember, like really fighting my head that wanted to look down at the landing at 360 degrees and like fighting with everything I had to keep looking left on that try so it just felt amazing it was such a cool way to end the camp and end all the hard work I'd put into trying to get it in those days and yeah it was the best feeling ever hey so that was the roundup from my second stomp at camp and I still can't quite believe that I progressed as much as I did and learned as much as I did between the camps. Um, I feel like I am a totally different skier in the second camp as opposed to the first. You can, I feel like I can really see 
even my demeanor changed. Like, my confidence is so much higher. Um, I try harder things. I hit things with more speed. <laughs> the first camp, I was really afraid of speed, and um, in the second camp, that fear kind of dissipated. Now I just send it off of things. And um, yeah, it was another amazing experience, another awesome group of people. Um, and I was really happy to actually have learned to ski powder. I did not go into the camp thinking of that. That was just um, the luck of the weather that we had nice powder the first couple days. And my powder skiing technique was terrible before the camp, and, or it just wasn't existent. I had never learned to ski powder. Um, I grew up skiing in the east of the United States, and there we learned how to ski ice, not powder. So um, that was a welcome surprise and um, a nice thing to add into my skiing repertoire that now I enjoy skiing powder. And yeah, I was so happy with all the tricks I learned. I was so happy to be coached again by my coach from the last camp, Will, and this time joined by Lucas, who was also at the last camp, but he coached a different group, so I wasn't really coached by him that time. Um, I really enjoyed everything about it. It was just a great time, a great camp, and I, during that camp, I learned that there'll be, for the first time ever, Stomper was doing an intermediate camp for past camp attendees, and the prerequisite for that was that you just needed to land 360s consistently. And I learned that that camp would be happening a few months later this year. Um, so needless to say, I was pretty motivated after this camp to make sure that I could attend that one as well. Um, and I'll talk about that in my next video. Spoiler alert, that is my third camp that I attend. Um, yeah, but so this was my second camp in January of 2022 and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.